Hey, welcome to another edition of Avid Golfer Magazine's Fearless Fantasy Forecast. Now this week, we have the Travelers Championship, but last week we had the winner on four of our teams. Yes, how cool is that? Good job, Webb. Nice yeah. job. Uh, although he didn't take <laughs> So what do I know? I didn't either. You know he has five kids. Winning on Father's Day was kind of apropos. Appropriate? Yeah, sure. So it's whatever you just said. <laughs> uh, strength of field this week is 690. Still an awesome field. Last year it was only 460. And last week at the Heritage was 720. Still, still a lot of big names playing. And I, Craig, for once, have taken three guys on both teams. Wow. I know. Wow. So let me go first. You went first last week. All right. So I have a team. I'm going to say this is a lock team. And I mean, I'll let you go second because I'm only going to get, I'm only going one with one team this week. Wow. So I went with value, real value. So let me give you my value. I get, went with Vaughn Taylor, who's at $6,500. Mm-hmm. He makes cuts. Yep. And last, week, last year at Travelers, he played really, really well. He was second lowest round in the final round. I know you look at that. And I look at that, and I, that's, that's momentum. So he, he left that golf course thinking, I play this place well. Okay. Ches Reavy, last year's rent winner mm-hmm. at $7,500. Kind of value to me. Kind of. Joaquin Neiman, I think this guy's going to be the number one guy picked on all DraftKings teams this week. He's in the 7,000s. Okay. He came in fifth last year, Travelers. Right. He came in fifth last week. Right. Everybody saw him rally last week on TV. Who doesn't pick him in the, if you want somebody in the 7,000s? Okay. Right? Good value. And then Corey Connors, another real value pick. He's got two top 20s so far this, mm-hmm. since the pandemic. I think he's real value in the 7,000s. And then I went with two racehorses. And I guarantee you, you went with these guys too. I just have a hunch. We'll see. I went with Brooks Kepka, and I went with Justin Thomas. Both of them closed really, really well last week, and both of them have just gotten progressively better. Okay. So. Sounds good to me. I'm racehorses. I, I'm just going to say I'm going to guess you had both of them. Sounds plausible. Okay. So on both my teams, I took Brooks Kepka. There you go. Patrick Cantley. Oh, surprise, surprise. And Abe Answer. Okay, I had, so if you look here, I had two guys I didn't take that uh-huh. I'm worried about. Mm-hmm. Abe Answer, you know, he had the lowest round last year, Travelers in the final round. Mm-hmm. I found him expensive. You know, nine grand, but he hit, I don't know, he, I think he missed seven greens last week. Yeah. He's none in the last two rounds. I know it. So I'm taking him. It's a hunt. Everything's a hunch, yeah. right? Then my other two, then my fill ins are Matt Fitzpatrick. He's been playing well. Very. Cameron Davis, a little bit of a value pick. Okay, from interesting Australia. thing about Cameron Davis. Mm. Cameron Davis. Tied for eighth at the Honda. Right. And that top 10 got him in this week. How about that? And that's the only reason why he's here. Okay. I picked him on my other team. Don't right care. Right there. Don't care. Harry Higgs. I just like him. He's a <laughs> Dallas guy. He makes cuts. He's funny. And then on the other team, I took Joaquin Neiman. Okay. On a team. I took Max Homa. Okay. I always like him. And then my value was Sam Burns. He played well last year. Okay. Not good for awesome. You. Yeah, so those are our picks. So I I'm think we're feeling gonna really, really good this week. I've got that. That's a lot team right there. Vaughn Taylor at 6500 bucks. How can you go wrong? Boy, if you're picking, if you're basing your whole team on Vaughn Taylor, I'm a little nervous. Just a little. Lock it in, Vaughn Taylor, boys. Just a little nervous. All right. Don't forget to subscribe on our Avid Golfer page on YouTube. And uh, until next time, bet responsibly. If you're tired of starting over, Stop giving up.